today we're really happy to be bringing Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 2 to GDC, allow people to play it for the first time really, um, and showcase you know what's new about the game. Um, one of the new things you're going to notice about Sonic Episode 2 is that it is co-op, so it's going to have Tails in it. And it's going to really take you back to those days of uh, Sonic 2, like when you were playing with your little brother, your friend, um, because Tails really acts as a booster to Sonic. So Tails is there to help Sonic sort of progress through the level. Um, and we've definitely started thinking about new elements. Um, when we took a look at Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles, Tails was really confined to sort of one move that he could do with, with Sonic, and that was pick him up and you know use the Tails as a propeller and carry him onto a ledge. But now we've sort of expanded on that. So Tails is gonna be able to team up with Sonic and do a big combination roll that's kind of like a yin-yang ball that is a much more powerful attack. He's gonna be able to also swim underwater. New graphics engine. The graphics engine is definitely more dynamic. We've got a snow level, for example, and when you run past the flowers, the snow will actually come off the flowers when you run past. Much more interactive, much different than the pre-rendered 2D assets very interactive 3D. Um, and then of course we've got a new physics engine which is much closer to the Genesis. It, is, it isn't apples to apples, but it is really close and there's three big elements you're gonna be able to notice right off the bat. One is that Sonic no longer will uncurl when he goes up the ball. So if you roll up in the ball and go up on the hill, he'll stay in his attack form. The second one is fans really like that momentum based gameplay. So at the beginning of Sylvania Castle Act 2, there's a huge hill, and if you just tuck and roll Sonic, and you put your controller down and leave it alone, he'll naturally roll down the hill and actually pick up speed. So it's much more close to what the Genesis experience was. And on top of that, when you jump, it used to be that if you jumped in F1, Sonic would actually get up to the middle of the jump, and then if you let the analog stick go, he'd drop like a rock. So now, if you just jump and you have forward momentum, he'll actually complete the arc of the jump and you'll be able to continue. So again, noticeable things that are really improvements, and a lot of it's based on fan feedback, so we're really happy to be able to be answering that. I think one of the elements that we thought about keeping, or especially looking into for the Genesis when we did Ep2, is obviously we wanted to make it the best environments possible, and of course the best 2D experience possible, and one of those key elements was the new graphics engine. We wanted to see like how could we put our own sort of spin on this game. Um, and of course we've got a lot of elements that we're going to announce in the future that are putting our spin on the game. But one of those key things is expanding the cooperative or collaborative play with Tails. Um, that was one element that we all felt strongly that needed to have an evolution. And we're really happy to be offering these brand new things with Tails. In addition to taking advantage of technology today. So co-op is no longer confined to local co-op. It's now online, on your PlayStation network, even on your, you know, your Xbox 360. We're definitely taking advantage of new technology in the sense that for your Windows phone, for example, you'll be able to start on your Windows phone, play it, save it on the iCloud, and pick up right where you left off on the Xbox 360. And those are really cool elements that you couldn't offer, you know, 10, 20 years ago. We're gonna be coming out with Sonic 4 Episode 2 on uh, spring of this year. 